got scissors in here. I don't have scissors in here. Apparently, uh, I've seen occasional comments for this, but I'm still not over the person who made a comment about this. Um, Kazuha and Wanderer yeah. are apparently a, a very popular ship. Yeah. And somebody made a comment about how a line of one of their lines of dialogue is way more than anything Risley and Nivellette have in the entire game. And I'm like, oh my god, you why? mean one line of dialogue <laughs> against literally knowing each other, Mr. I don't have personal relationships, saying, I have a personal relationship <laughs> with this person. <laughs> I have no um, personal relationships, but I have a personal relationship with Risley. But I have no personal relationships. I don't understand, I will never understand why people have to do that. Why they have to try and justify their own ships by putting others down. So you first of all, you and shouldn't also... have to justify a ship. Like even if they've never met, if it's something you want to enjoy, I don't see the problem. and I I hate when people are like, oh my god, how do people even ship these two characters they've never met in canon? Because like fanon is a thing. And people should just do whatever the hell you want. But why do you have to go after other ships to make yours seem even more special than them. Why do you have to justify it by trying to make out that they're more canonically connected than Nivellet and Risley? Because if anything, it makes it sound like, you know when people try to justify their own ships by making others seem not as important, almost feels like you have no faith in your own ship. So otherwise, does, why can of. you only say things good about them by putting others down? If you want to but build like, your own headcanons around that, then there's no harm in it. But you can't then dismiss all the pairings. And especially to say, you know, oh, this, this one line is so much more than every single interaction these two have ever had. Like, what are you watching? What are you trying to say from all of this? To begin with, so you can enjoy your ship without trying to put others down. Some people just can't. I don't get it. I've never understood that. So like, there are certain there are certain ships that I can't stand, and that I mean they're the same ships that you also can't stand for like <laughs> reasons to do with the characters, but it's never been. That's like, we're, when we say that we don't like Fua and Naki, it's not because we ship Fua and Horobi. It's because Fua and Naki we find very disturbing. But we're also like not going to go into the tag and start shitting on them for the people who actually enjoy them. Because common decency no. and everything. Boring. Isn't there anything else more interesting? Do you want to go fight the tiger thing and Shen Yu fail? Yes, because I'm bloody irate now. <laughs> I'm I'm not enough of a shipper, that's my problem. It's like my type <laughs> yeah, of ship is ship horribly and fewer and people who are like them. That's my type, that's my one type. It doesn't happen often. Oh my god. I can't believe that I came to the realization that oh uh, I mean like I didn't obviously I didn't know it at the time. Now looking back I'm like, oh, the Akio was like my first ever <laughs> yeah particular character type yeah everything is That's it so kind of funny. it all it all connects really doesn't it you realize it all makes a quite no, a lot a, of sense have a very specific you know thing it doesn't happen often grumpy, but when it does grumpy stoic dad older brother with a katana who is secretly suffering soma and mickey as well especially you know the the one with the katana has to be like unreasonably physically more powerful you have this like ethereal yeah. being and the most human to ever human yeah that's like my ship and then like my character i guess okay not specifically older brother but like family oriented in mm. some fashion with a katana very grumpy secretly suffering <laughs> yeah <laughs> very strange Listen. and specific archetype Never lets Kane counts as a katana, okay? <laughs> I, I don't take questions. Yeah, no, it's the same thing, it's fine. Fish missile!
Oh, and don't actually. Don't even. We sh we should let people do cool things with their canes. Don't get me started on the ableism in the Genshin community when characters have canes. I love Neverland canes. So there was a there was a leak, and co probably completely untrue, but of Pantalone potentially having a cane, and oh Ooh, people, yes. which would which would suit him, right? It but, would. Oh, yes. people immediately started calling him old man. Because he potentially has a cane. Like, oh, you have a mobility aid that makes you old. So, I know that's not what they're saying, but that is what they're saying. I love, actually, like, Nivellet's cane was what made me think that he, uh, he was going to be a sword user. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, I have such a thing for canes that are legitimately used as like a mobility thing but also our swords that is incredible i, love I was it. so excited for that that's so what i'm hoping from pantalone actually i'm sure it's fake but if it is true that would be very cool yeah, being like, like this refined gentleman with a a cane and everything all of a sudden now pulls it out and it's a sword i um i am very frozen um most slow motion punches to ever punch where did half, half my health go uh, i i i i don't know you lost it i'm uh, oh into the quickly took it uh farina Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, you might it's die. It's okay, I have C6 Barbara. If he you dies, you so might die. Back. I have C6 Barbara. Okay, I, ah, Barbara, I might die. I got Barbara. Oh, do your ult, Barbara. Okay, Risley. No, not the chat! No, not the menu either. Oh, you <laughs> no, you didn't kill it. What's Stop happening? It. Do I? something! Ah, here I am. Risley, melt! I mean, freeze. You can't melt. I don't think I need you, but I'll take you anyway. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I need to rant again, just ever so briefly. Um, this is why we need a podcast, because we could talk for years. Um, just go play. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, my yeah, my mum is doing YouTube now. Mm -hmm. An antique pocket watch. It's like, I go on eBay and get the, <laughs> the antique pocket watch. Um, so, she had, a, she had comments um, from some people in another video. Uh, insisting that she must be able to see at least a bit and she had to basically argue back with them like no I can't see at all oh well you must be able to see at least to do this that and other or you must be able to see a bit uh, it's so frustrating when you pair it with all the people about Risley about how he can't be blind because he's literally reading and people who didn't understand that some, sometimes blind people can still see things. And then on this side, it's, oh, but you can't be fully blind. You must be able to see things. And it's like, genuinely, you can't win. Because if you can't see at all, if you can't see at all, it's, oh, you must be able to see something. And if you can see a bit, it's, oh, well, you're not blind then. People. Sorry, go on. I kept interrupting. Oh, no, I was just like, why do these people care so much? I know, why do these people care so much? Oh, it's so tiring. People are so exhausting. Oh my god, speaking of... Sorry, I'm completely talking your ear off now. But do you remember... Oh. Did I tell you the update with uh, Port Merion? I don't quite remember. Um, do you remember the place um, that wouldn't let me in with Fua Fua and basically insinuated that she wasn't a real assistance dog? And tried to tell me yes. that they don't do this on the and insisted on papers that don't exist? And so then yes. a bunch of people 
they got so many emails from a bunch of people after I complained about it, trying to educate them on the thing. And so they changed their website and kind of acted as if they were, you know, they were going to do better and everything. Two weeks ago, a woman went to Port Merion with a guide dog because this person was blind and she was there with a guide dog and she was told she wasn't allowed in and she had to leave her guide dog in the car. What? And I, I genuinely don't get it. Oh my goodness. This other person in an electric wheelchair was told that they should have had more common sense than to come. What? <laughs> they, just, they just hate disabled people at Port Marion, don't they? They just really do. Oh, it's so tiring. I need to do a full video just exposing them. I don't care. I can't get into legal trouble if it's true. Leave the guide dog in the car. And what? And get back how? Yeah, that kind of defeats the entire purpose. Like, if if she could leave her guide dog in the car, then she wouldn't have a guide dog. What are you on about? It's like telling a, telling a wheelchair user that they need to leave the wheelchair in the car. Like, okay, uh, yeah, and get back and get around how? The water possession. Are you providing guide dogs? Yeah, exactly. Are you going to guide this person yourself, personally? Yeah. Oh my god, again, that reminds me of um, there was somebody online with a service dog, because it was American, who gets a treat every time he goes to like a dip in the pavement for mobility purposes. Um, so... Uh -huh. He started going the long way round to take in as many dips in the pavement as possible so he could get more treats. Oh, doggy. And I, I, that is so something Fura Fura would do. It's so funny. Dogs are great. Anyway, that's my rant of the day over, I think. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. That's what we need to do. We need to have a podcast and the first half needs to be the rant of the day. Because we've all, we've both got stuff to complain <laughs> about. Complain. I'll complain about Port Marion. You can I complain about old, the fancy retail guy. But I also see the meaning oh of my god. Of the people of Fontaine. I believe I will continue uh, to take pride in right, Oh, you're not allowed fans. You need to sweat on all your customers instead. <laughs>